Hi guys, Steve here in Adelaide on a very hot Christmas Eve and I'm out the back here uh, experimenting with the, uh, the Ronin-S and the GH5 to uh, get smooth pans and I've been using the, uh, the track feature in the Ronin-S app to do this but I found the, uh, the track feature a little bit confusing so I thought I'd do a tutorial on it Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is open the uh, the Ronin S app on the. Uh, I'm using the iPad for this. I normally use my phone. So I open the Ronin S app and connect to the the Ronin S. Connect, then go to uh, create, and then go to track. Now here in the uh, track menu, we have. Uh, I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them waypoints. There's two waypoints and uh, that come up first. These cannot be deleted. Uh, you can add waypoints and you can delete those waypoints. But uh, the other feature here too is that at the moment they're, they're white and deactivated. And if you touch one it goes blue and that becomes activated. So if I push the Ronin I can set this up where I I want to. So first of all I'm going to go to waypoint one. Watch the uh, the Ronin here will go to waypoint one. So there goes the Ronin. I'm going to set this up by push pull to frame that where I want it. Let's go down a little bit and that's locked in. I'm going to deactivate that. Now I'm going to go to waypoint two and the Ronin goes there, so I'll just check the position of that. Yep, that's about right. Now at this point we can um, give it a stay time, that once the, uh, the Ronin hits that second waypoint, it can have a stay time. I'm going to give it uh, five seconds. So I'll just set that to five seconds, so that when it gets there, it'll stop for five seconds and the duration between waypoint 1 and waypoint 2 I'm going to make that 20 seconds okay now I want a, a third waypoint so I'm going to add a waypoint with the add key on the on the right here and to do that I've got to deactivate waypoint 2 I'll move the Ronin to where I want the third position make about there and I'll point it down as well Let's look at that and now add a waypoint and a waypoint is added at that position I'm going to give uh, the duration here between waypoint 2 and waypoint 3 I'm going to make that 5 seconds okay now the next thing we can do is play it and the, the confusing thing about playing is it doesn't actually do the the uh, duration times between waypoints it just goes between the three waypoints now we'll go back to waypoint one go to waypoint two and then down to waypoint three so we have them all set up at this point I would I'd probably go to uh, waypoint one by touching it go to, uh, the Ronin goes to waypoint one and then I press record Ronin will wait and then start moving. It's now taking, it's going to take 20 seconds to get to waypoint 2. Once there, it's going to wait for 5 seconds and then move on to waypoint 3. Now you can also, uh, down the bottom here, they have a little icon where you can actually move the, the Ronin if you want to you can move it up and down and that will alter the position of the waypoint you can do that via the the Ronin app if you want uh, okay get rid of that now if you want to uh, delete a waypoint just highlight it and highlight it when it's blue 
so it's active and you can just delete it so that's pretty much it so um, yeah good luck with that guys thanks